feel so fancy. <laughs> This, it's this part. As usual, we have overcommitted in every facet of this endeavor. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, I didn't put my rings on. We decided, I, I forgot to bring mine, and I was like, oh, I should have them for this. But we decided to have a Bridgerton party. So we tea. got tea and sandwiches and petty fours. These are petty fours. These are chocolate biscuits. These are little key lime tarts. These are turtles. And these are lavender tea cookies. Uh, an egg salad with Chardonnay mustard and arugula, uh, honey ham and cheddar. Oh, sorry, spin. And then this is cucumber with peas and a butterfly, butterfly. pea flour cream cheese. And this is tarragon. Like, this is yeah, turkey and tarragon and scallion cream cheese. And then this is roast beef with a horseradish sauce and microgreens. That's it. That's five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got five. We have a tea place downtown. I didn't make all these. I only made the scones. <laughs> Everything else has been purchased. Thanks, okay. thanks to you. Because I I spent the money that you guys gave us to do this. So Hello everybody, I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And so I'm watching Bridgerton, season three, part two. Episode five. Four, five. Yeah. TikTok. TikTok. Make it stop. Make the <laughs> DJ party. H have I already forgotten those lyrics? Jesus. That song's easily 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> already. 14, 14 years old. <laughs> this was so much fun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a very strange. And I'm buckled in. I'm prepared for this. I know it's what's happening. I know it's what, what, what we're getting. But it's like 50% deliriously dishy and like 50% infuriating Yeah, because I get it. I totally get it. I understand that Penelope is Lady Whistledown and that she's been writing gossip about everyone and she threw Eloise under the bus even though her hands were tied last season. Yes, however, also that did zero damage to Eloise. That's not the point. I no, get... I know, but I'm just saying you were like holding such a hard grudge. No, I'm, I am... I. W I 100% understand Eloise's chip on her shoulder. The problem is is that we, the audience, are so invested in Penelope as yeah. the heroine. Well, Eloise, and her love story with Colin. The Eloise is harshing. Yeah. Harshing our buzz. She's just, like, sitting around everywhere pouting like a baby, and I'm just like... Well, and it's like, again, the motivations absolutely line up, but it, it, I, I think part of it is the experience of what we're watching. I mean, it's the place that we are, you know, in time and history and with yeah. entertainment and all that. I am having a ball with this uh, Penelope, Nicola Coughlin, Bella the Ball yeah. situation. I hope, this is a, a strange thing to talk about, but I am going to go ahead and talk about it because it, it is part of the fun. But I hoped, I was hoping so hard that we were going to get sex from her oh like, yeah like nudity because i joked about it in like the carriage episode where i was like come on pop a titty <sighs> and she did yeah i was a little surprised I it was i think she specifically requested it she was like i'd like to be as naked as you will let me be on this show and the thing is it's like on one hand i think it's like kind of obnoxious and offensive and d t to like point it out yeah. to like but we talked about the nudity and the sex okay. in the other seasons as well. It's only obnoxious to call her brave for doing it. She's not brave. And also, uh, she well, does it's... have pretty perfect breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. No, no. I mean, it is, it, it, it is brave to sort of, you know, uh, put yourself out there in a way that is not typically or, or that yeah. we have not traditionally seen. But they're doing it so well. Yeah. And it was, it was beauty. Like, because, I mean, it, 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 she is a full-figured woman. <laughs> yeah. And we were, in, in case you didn't know, there was a reporter at at the rounds that was mm -hmm. kind of patronizingly, and he was a man, and I'm a man too, but I, I we're not gonna, we're not gonna pull <laughs> these threads, but he kind of patronizing was like, how brave of you. And she was like, uh, how did, what, how did she, she said, say that? She said, yes, it's like, for, for women like me, women with perfect breasts. We don't get to see ourselves yeah. represented on screen. She was very. like, as a member of the perfect breast community. And it was just like, very good and tongue in cheek. And I just like, the thing for me is like, I think it's 
I think the like brave part of it is just like as a person letting your naked self be on camera like that. But people are making it brave because she's like larger than the other women who have been on the show. And I'm like, it's she just still has a body. Like, well, and that's what I'm enjoying is that it's like it, it didn't as much as I definitely wanted it and as much as they did it, it didn't feel like. No, it wasn't like. It wasn't like, yeah. It, 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 didn't, it wasn't in your face, and, and it, I don't know. It, it just, it, it was so perfectly done. Yeah. And, and I, I love the fact that it still was very glamorized. And I don't know. I, 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 I Like I said, it's weird because I feel like you have to talk about it, but also I don't, we shouldn't have to. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, my point is I loved it. I loved yeah. the whole thing. It was great. Uh, this episode, this season particularly, I mean, it's a, it's a very um, dishy, kind of light, frothy show. But this episode was veering on straight melodrama. Yeah. And again, I that's not a criticism. I do love it. Mm-hmm. I guess the queen. So why was why did the queen suddenly decide that she was hell bent on exposing? Okay, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It was something we were eating delicious sandwiches. We were eating, half of it. We so. were eating really good sandwiches. So I think part of it is like she like wasn't fighting with the queen anymore. She didn't make any quips about the queen, and so then the queen was like, "She's well, defenseless." I think it it now. had something to do with Francesca because I, I think yeah. Whistledown was undermining the queen. Yeah, but they've been kind of having, like, a back and forth thing, and I don't know. The Queen's motivations are also very murky murky to me, where I'm just like, if you get rid of Lady Whistledown... Who are you going to volley with? Yeah, the, you're not going to be having any fun anymore. So, like, to me, that's very whatever. But she put out this, like, I'll give you 5,000 pounds. What it had to do with Francesca settling... We're settling up with Sterling, John Sterling, yeah. and not Salamani or Samandani. 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 Yeah. Uh, I he do want to say I've come around on Lord Sterling. Well, I was. <laughs> you did that from the beginning, and literally, it's because I've read the books, and I haven't. <laughs> so I was like, I mean, yes, there is a human man standing yeah. next to Francesca. That's not enough for me to swoon. However, so, cute. so the music thing was cute. Yeah. And I was being a little, not not intentionally, I was unintentionally being a little bit obtuse where I wasn't picking up on Francesca's... Autism? Um, <laughs> a commenter pointed out that they, yeah. that they both seemed a little bit like they were on the spectrum. Yeah. And once I was given that bit, it all fell into place for me. Yeah. And so I she like it. She is smitten. I like it so yeah. much better now. Yeah. I, I came around to it. It just felt arbitrary to me initially. Mm-hmm. But, and again, I mean, it's a fairly arbitrary show that you get that with these types of... Yeah, for sure. This is, we go through this every time. It's a romance. No, I started to say Regency, and it's not Regency. It kind of is. is it's it? like okay. eight, early 1800s. Yeah. Okay. That's par for the course with this type of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, I understand the scandal of Penelope being Lady Whistledown and Lady Whistledown being exposed. But as a modern person mm-hmm. and an audience who's on Penelope's side, it's just a real drag. And especially because none of them are so far are capable of seeing it as the asset that it is. Yeah. Having like inside intel <laughs> like being yeah. able to control the media. <laughs> yeah. I think the issue with that is that like Penelope has even gone against her own morals in order to like throw people off the track. Mm-hmm. So it's like she's not even like a totally reliable narrator when it matters to her. But it's like Colin has this blood feud with her cuz she yeah. called him a scoundrel once and it's like he can't, yeah. he can't even possibly remember that. So no. <laughs> between betting That was five <laughs> ideas ago. He's like <laughs> between betting all those women in Paris and Greece and wherever else. I don't know. I I'm not gonna fight it too much, but yeah. it is a little bit sort of like, okay, now here's the part yeah. of the episode where this happens. No, I'm with you and like I I guess the only person aside from like Dumois and stuff that we have currently, the only person that I can really relate Lady Whistledown to is, like, Perez Hilton. And that was way more vile. Way than meaner. Dumois like, does. way, way meaner. And so, I'm just sort of like, I don't even want to string up Perez Hilton. Like, I don't, I, I don't like him, but I don't need to, like, <laughs> you want to string him up? I mean, I don't know if we need to feather, but I bring the tar <laughs> I bring out. bring the tar, at least. 
No, I don't know. So it's just that the kind tar of... is the worst part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll just feather him. You're not wrong, but yeah, I just am sort of like it's just a gossip columnist. Like I don't like whatever. I'm like she's doing you all a favor. You would have nothing. You'd be so bored. Nothing. So bored. And the other thing for me that as a book reader, although again, as I mentioned in the first half, I have not read them in a couple of years now since after season one came out. Um this is not how it goes in the mm-hmm. book. And so, like, this, to me, is just, like, artificial tension for kind of no reason. Like, Eloise does not find out first. Mm-hmm. And, like, she tells Colin, and it's, like, not a big deal. And so I'm just, like, you're right, like, this blood feud. And I'm just, like, come on. Cut. She certainly will never get married. And it's just, like, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Cressida's story is also a little bit confounding. Yeah. I'm fine with it because I'm enjoying mm-hmm. I'm enjoying having her. She's she's very me coded. She's my type of character. Yeah. And it is fun having a, a a more morally gray and or more dubious character well, in the in the prime. She was, yeah. she's been very tertiary and yeah. she's a main player this season. I would say she's not even morally gray. She's just very like, I want to do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. And like I'm not marrying this elderly man who is apparently the picture of hell well, and that's... <laughs> or but I mean, like, who there... wants four to five children to squeeze out of Cressida's narrow hips <laughs> no, but, but my point is, is that they're really leaning into this like Cinderella plot for her this sure, season yeah. in a way that's a little bit breakneck again I'm fine with it because yeah. I like what it gives us but I do sneer a couple of times when they'll cut to it and mm-hmm. I'm like this is like a 180 yeah. from what yeah. we we're doing and again i understand that that happens but yeah and i would also say what's interesting to me about it is that actually given all of the cressida we've gotten before this season now learning the backstory actually makes sense they're they're not like they're not retroactively doing anything it's like she would be acting like that if she was trying if being like forced into like these situations these marriage situations i think i'm changing my mind in real time because i think i was taking it on red that the way she was presented in season one was authentically her. No, I don't and think And this so, is yeah. kind of retcon mm-hmm. in a way that if you think about it now, because I'm like, there's no way she wouldn't already be married. But I'm like, oh, but if she's m- miserable. She's also like, just she's, like kind of unappealing. <laughs> yeah, like, like she's attractive. But, personality yeah. wise, she's so well. And again, I think she'd be like, she needs to go to the modiste like Penelope did and be like, listen. <laughs> She was in full, full Sleeping Beauty else. cosplay in that pink and yeah. purple. Well, and also, like, she the, enough with the, like, very tight, like, front, and then the big I was curls. Gonna, I was gonna do it, and I just didn't have time. I was gonna make a, ha- a hair piece. I might, in between episodes, I might go do a top knot with some <laughs> swirls and put some flowers. I just thought it'd be fun. Uh, no, so, yeah, the, she's, she, the, her father has arranged a marriage with this old man who doesn't like light or music or gossip, talking or singing yeah. or they'll go to one ball a month. All modern art is terrible. There's no gossip. It's offensive. Yeah. She's having five kids. It like, again, comical. Where, <laughs> where are they going to come out of Cressida? Child bearing hips. She has not. And so, since the queen is on this quest to find Lady Whistledown with a reward of five thousand mm-hmm. pounds, uh, which is apparently a great deal. It's like as much as a dowry would be. You were like, "That's yeah. enough." And they even you told me before yeah. that, and then in the show, they were like, "That's enough for her to start over." Yeah. Well, she wants to go to get a flat in Vienna, mm-hmm. and also, I mean, like living costs were cheap as fuck back well, then. Well, she's still going to just end up with Lord Debling, I think. Well, I get. I don't know if he's like in anymore. I think so. I think that because be... that was what I was gonna say. As I was like, "What? How come she didn't just swoop in with Lord Debling? Like, bitch, I will whatever you want." We got three more episodes. I think that's what's gonna happen. I hope. But... So. I would really, really hope. I so. also want because again, I don't remember his name, but I referred to him as the Queen in the wheelchair. Oh yeah, he was not in this one. I don't believe. I want him back. Yeah, he was quite a lot of fun. But it did the it did culminate in. Uh, for some reason, the, the whole the, the title, the TikTok. I, think, I guess okay. Eloise was just going to tell him at midnight. Yes, I think while we were eating that roast beef sandwich <laughs> with the horseradish that, that had so amazing good. horseradish sauce on it, um, I think we missed her tell Penelope that if you don't tell him by midnight, I'm going to tell him. 
Because we just kept on getting gl- glimpses of this clock, and I was like... Is she going to turn into a pumpkin? What's like, happening? Is a, is a neon light going to go above her head, start flashing Lady Whistle down if she doesn't tell Colin? Like, I don't, I don't An know. An arrow just pointing. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Cressida realized the only one that yeah. who's on kind of on my side that realized what an asset this mm-hmm. is. And so she's jumped up and taken credit for it. Yeah. We don't know what's going to come of that. Because you said Queen Charlotte wants, like, proof. Yeah. Um, she was, like, the, the first one who can give me proof of Lady Whistledown's identity. So and we'll I'm not sure if, she's just going to take, like, I it mean, was me. Maybe. I don't know. The Queen is sort of an idiot sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Tilly Arnold is still around. Yeah. Banging Benedict and uh, speaking freely. And Kate loves that. Kate's pregnant. Kate's pregnant. It seems. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I'm excited about that. And they, did they tell? They did. Yeah. yeah. They, they at least, they definitely told, they told Violet. Violet and Lady Danbury. Will and Alice are still entering society. Yeah. He's apparently working too much and he's like missing things with the family. Their daughter rode a horse for the first time and their son, this is his first outing as like Lord, Lord. Kent. Um, and, and he has to, he's doing like. They set him like, up with Hyacinth and Jonathan? Gregory. Gregory. It's a G. It's a okay. The, it's the alphabet, but yeah, I liked it. So, uh, yeah, Colin and Penelope super banged on the chaise. Chaise. Um, <laughs> and that's the thing too. I think why she's so freaked out because she faints at the end of the episode, and so I think that's why she's so freaked out. Is she's like now she's ruined if he finds out she's Lady Lady Whistledown and like he made that well, she certainly will never get married comment, and it's just fucking please. I was I wasn't gonna get into because I feel like we'll get an opportunity in the next episode, so I, I think well I'll wait before I revisit Portia. <laughs> I don't know. Colin's like verbal takedown of her was like pretty spectacular. And she just is, and again I know that this is me, and I know everybody roll your eyes and point and boo, but it just, she's she's just not comically evil. Like she's not no. scheming in a way. And I, I, I said well, during not, our watch not along, anymore because her other two daughters are pregnant. Well, already. I, I think I, I basically said this every time, but it, she's a very like one step forward, two steps back type of character because mm-hmm. I think she genuinely believes in what she's doing. And I think she genuinely thinks she is looking out for Penelope's yeah. best interest, but she stays clipping her wings yeah. in this way that, and again, her I, I own think, wings. Well, Penelope's. I think her own okay. as well because I because think... I was gonna say she's kind of a a, a, a shadow version yeah. of Violet and it, it and again it's like and I, I think it would be very easy for the show and people watching the show to paint her as villainous and she's one of she's one of the ones that I would put into she's antagonistic but not yeah. a villain yes yeah, so again certainly not anymore she was more scheming in the first two seasons but again mm-hmm. I think because Philippa and Prudence are married and pregnant I think she's mostly like whatever. But also, for me, the thing that's, like, so weird is that she's, like, I can't believe you turned down Lord Debling for what? So you can have this thing with, like, the boy I, across the street? But I think she street? thinks that she's not, like, I, I think she's doubting his commitment. Yeah. And she's thinking that Penelope's not thinking, Penelope's not being realistic is what she's. Sure. And Colin ca- came in and told her off, and it was. I just also, though, like. Uh, I mean, I guess it's just in the gossip column, but, like, it's a published engagement at this point. It would look very bad for Colin as well mm-hmm. to pull out of that now, especially because it would be the second engagement he's pulled out of. And I'm just like... It's just, yeah. that that's one of the places where I feel like the seam show, like, the plotting yeah. is showing a little bit more than the actual... And so that's, for me, that's the part where I'm it's like, like... we need to position her that way yeah. for when it, the fallout comes. Yeah. Sure. She can have her I told you so moment. But that's, for me, the issue that I have where I'm like, if you had just, like, stuck a little harder to the books, like, you wouldn't, we wouldn't see the seams because there are fewer seams in the books Mm -hmm. because it makes more sense, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. This is, like, having it still be, like, this insane secret and, like, having Eloise on this, on the wrong side of it is, like, very frustrating for me as someone who read the book and someone who's even if I hadn't read the books I would be like this sucks like I'm very with Colin like you used to be best friends what the fuck is going on like I don't understand and so that's just like frustrating for me so but, yeah um yeah I think that that's as good a place as any to uh stop for our check in yeah. to episode 5 so um very excited we're going to well we were going to eat more sandwiches I don't but... think I can I'm full <laughs> 
I definitely will later. Later, But yeah. not right now. Yeah. So. Maybe on episode. Three. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Okay, bye. Bye.